Hello, good morning. Good morning on Saturday. Um, uh, do you remember Saturday mornings as a kid and you watched, you know, Thundercats or something? And no, that was it really. It was poo. Well, I don't mind Thundercats. And, uh, and like with my family, it might either, actually no, Sunday was the worst. Sunday you get dragged to B&Q and you're like, I don't want to go in. And so you just sit waiting in the car um, and yeah, it was really dull. Or you go to the garden centre. I mean, now I bloody love a garden centre. B&Q, still, I could still wait in the car at B&Q. There's mm, um but, ooh, a garden centre. I do like a garden centre. Especially because they make them all fancy now, don't they? And, you know, it's like tea rooms and there's ponds and things. I have no idea why I started going off on the that, but there we go. It's Saturday. And um, I'm thinking that we're going to do today what I didn't manage to get done the other day, which was go to Portalba because uh, I went and bought a bloody big lamp in Neath, didn't I? So we didn't end up going to Portalba. So I'm figuring, shall I do that today? Which would be quite nice. I hope. I mean, Portalba on a Saturday is going to be busier. There's going to be more kids and stuff. Probably still find the same stuff. I don't know. And also, it is a bit bloody cold. A bit bloody cold, but hey ho. So it might be warmer coat time. I've got a, a long faux leopard print one. Uh, that might be coming out today, who knows. Righto, I will show you the five things that I've got a package of this morning. There was more, but they sat on the floor and they were already being done. I did have a panic yesterday because I thought I'd lost something. And I literally like was ripping things apart and then I found it in a place where it shouldn't have been but actually logically it's like okay I understand why it's in there but I don't remember putting it in there anyways it's fine it's found and it's it's on its way it's all good yay right I'll be back soon and I'll show you the, the little bits that are going out Okay, this is what's going out, actually. I say what's going out, but I'm not taking this one with me to post because it's four kilograms of costume jewellery, broken costume jewellery. Um, but I'm going to have that collected on Monday. I am not carrying around four kilograms of jewellery with me. And that sold for £21.99 plus post. Next one is this Tatty Divine Little Wooden Owl necklace. Went for a tenner. These pink teardrop glass I really like these earrings. Remember these are pair that um, they were in my, um, oh, I'll pay them up one day kind of bucket of earrings. So it was worth doing. And I did think that they were really nice. Um, and they went for $7.99. It's a very earringy. Mm. Yeah. These ones, these are by Asnavor. When I first saw them, I was like, oh, maybe they're a Jackie Brazil. They're not. But they do have, I mean, they're, lumps of plastic on a hook you know um and only one of them is signed oh no no they are both signed yeah i must have dreamt that then um it's just a little gold signature on the back but very very kitsch i mean they're quite cool they have a look of bakelite about them even though they're not um but yeah that is a french brand i didn't buy it in france but it is a french brand and they went for $15.99, which is pretty cool. And then over on Etsy, I saw some amber earrings. And then going to somewhere very foreign, like the Philippines or something, I think. Um, so this black spinel Edwardian ring. And then this, this is a really nice one. See, a nice unusual shape. And then you can wear it like that and it kind of zigzags around it's pretty cool isn't it so yeah they're going off to yeah i'm pretty sure it's like the philippines or somewhere so there we go um and these are lovely art nouveau style amber earrings which um 
sometimes you know you polish stuff up to go in the shop and then sometimes just leave it with that oxidization because it gives a nice aged effect and it just offsets the amber really nice and the design and you get the details on the design then as well rather than being like a flat chrome silver which suits some things you know like if you're wearing a bangle or plain bangle you want it really bright and shiny but something like that just leave the oxidization it looks a lot nicer anyway so i'm going to package them up and then yeah, wait for it to warm up so we'll be going out in like june anyway um yeah we'll just um we'll brave the outside at some point oh yes it's definitely chilly the uh, faux fur coat is on <sighs> bloody hate autumn winter i really do i know it's all this oh but you can get cozy no no sunshine warm <sighs> anyways um so quirky is coming up in a minute well it's more down there actually and um i think i've shown you it before so it's like a vintage retro shop and they do clothing and homewares and all odds and sods and things two stories of it and i asked him there the other day if they have space for a jewellery seller. There are a couple of jewellery sellers in there, but they sell like, there's not much and it's more like crystal on a cord kind of thing. Um, whereas obviously I would want to sell some silver because I don't think there's anyone really selling silver in Bridgend. I mean like there's, okay, that sounds silly. There's obviously jewellers selling silver. But I mean, as for just reasonably priced second-hand silver, there's no one really doing it because Julie intends to do gold with some nice high-end silver. Um, and Masfina just does like brand new stuff. So I think there's definitely a bit of space, but he says there's nothing available right now, but they are having a rejig of stuff, that's them. A rejig and uh, so he wanted me to send him like a link to my Etsy store to see the kind of thing that that I have so I did that and I'm just waiting on them I'm hoping to get in there pretty soon if they are having this rejig because it'll be pointless me doing it after Christmas I want to get the Christmas shoppers you know and obviously it depends on how much it costs as well but um, yeah, hopefully I'll hear from them soon. It'd be quite nice to have um, a little bit of a, you know, retail space, I suppose. Um, just to see what it's like again. Because, you know, obviously I had one years ago, but that was more for the clothing and a bit of jewelry. But with this, I literally just want to cut the shelves, not like half a shop. Anyways, we'll see. Right, heading up to the train station now. Oh, chilly in Port Albert as well. A nice blue sky. So that's okay. I've got my Costa. Um, but then, whilst well, picking up my Costa, I was like, oh God, I've got like three minutes to get in the tree. So, legged it. And when I say legged it, not really. What kind of puffed up the hill. And uh, just managed to get on the train in time. God. <laughs> Very, uh... Have you seen Nighty Night? Chill. <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, but I've got my coffee. And now we're going to hit the shops. First off, Cash Gen. See what they've got in their window. £10 each on their nomination charms. Silver rings, anything there I fancy. That's a brass ring, surely. And gold rings with a nice big buckle one. That's quite handsome. And there's like a weird Pinocchio kind of charm thing. Very like pretty amethyst. And I've got, God, there's loads of like Pandora's and things in there. Tons and tons. Right, Heart Foundation next. Living Loud in concert. 
Batman and Judge Dredd. Legend of Zelda, 12 pounds. They sometimes sell quite well, but they tend to be in very small sizes. Not much in the jewelry department. Hmm, showing a bit more of a selection in the PDSA. A obligatory now. Here you go. Got a couple of little bits. And let's see what Oxfam has got. A calf kids backpack. Oh, look. That is quite cute, isn't it? For the cowboys. Pretty sure these were here last time. I don't think they're branded. I like the green snake skin. Right. What have we got? Yeah. Ooh. We've got a couple of bits there. And look at that. That's um, a crazy bit of chunk, and it's really heavy as well. Don't tell me what to is the cancer research. I think this is more of a like um, discount shop, everything fiber and under. Oh. Naked jacket, five pence. I can't be bothered though. I'm so lazy. <laughs> That's kind of funky. Four pounds. Did what you use the word funky? No. It's rad. <laughs> Some cute shoes, Pepe Jean shoes for two pounds. They're cute. Rebecca Samba for three pounds. But sadly, they don't go for much and they're more wedding season stuff. Ten pound on that vase. What if that's the one that, you know, you can take to Antique Roadshow or whatever and they value it for, you know, a quarter of a million? Who knows, eh? But she's a rather striking young lady, isn't she? Next, the Marie Curie. This one's quite deceptive. It goes, things from 49p and 99p and then the things I want are like 20 quid <laughs> typical but here we go do, do, do. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. yeah the things in there are about at their price oh well only a couple more charity shops to do. This floor always makes me feel really ill. Here's Wilco's empty. <laughs> um, oh look, it's a caution zombie zone. Okay, I think I'm good for zombies. <sighs> Cancer research whales. Let's see what we can find in here. Sometimes they've had some all right things in here. As usual, I'm not really looking through the clothes. Because I don't like clothes. Mm, DKNY, are you real? Are you worth it? Mm, that's a cute little duvet cover. They look almost like a potato print. No. Cute. And now this one is the last one. I think I've spent about 30 pounds so far. Not a huge amount of stuff, but hey ho, this is a Burberry scarf. Do you believe it or not? It's £10. Is it worth the risk? I mean, even if it's fake, I'd probably still wear it. And this is the jewellery stand. We've got earrings for nice, nice earrings, so taking a risk on these. Yeah. Anything else? Hmm. I quite like them. Okay, so that's Port Talbot done. I think I've done okay. I think I've spent 40, 50 quid. I can't remember. Don't know if that Burberry is real. It's worth the risk though, isn't it? Yeah. Anyways, home, go on then. Ooh. Should we go have a coffee? Hilda, that's my stationery cupboard. You've been in there before.
it's not exciting. Hilda. Yeah, you've been sorry. you've been told. Hilda. Go on, go on. Mummy's calling you. Go on. Gallop, gallop, gallop. Yay! Coffee and time for a haul. Uh -uh -uh. Okay, so I spent fifty-four pounds. Fifty-four pounds. And I bought 17 items of jewellery, averaging out at about £2.25 per item, of which 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 are silver and one is rolled gold. That's not bad going. Chuffed with that. Other things that I bought are these two, slightly crazed, but nice pink glazed ceramic jersey pottery things. I don't know, what are they? Like, are they bar things, measuring shots? I have no idea, no idea. Did a quick Google search on it and it just comes up with vases. Like, well, they're not really vases. But um, yeah, let me know what what, uh, what these are. Thanks, if you could. The Burberry scarf is Burberry for sure, definitely. It feels lovely. It's like super soft. It is really, really nice quality. Um, it has got tag there, tag there. It is in a Burberry um, zipper thingy. Um, like I said, it just feels like cashmere. It feels absolutely nice. The quality is there. So fab winner. And then you didn't see me pick this up because I was literally just passing a shop in town on the way back from the station and I saw this on the in the window and I was like hmm, go on and it was three pounds and it is a nightmare before Christmas <laughs> ridiculous hat and the see Jack Skellington glows in the dark as well now I cannot find hongkongdisneyland.com I did a google image search and I can't find these at all um so I'll try and do a little bit more digging, but this could be like a proper rare one. Um, and it is the only time I can really put this on. It will be like ready for tomorrow. So I think I might list that one today, ready to go on tomorrow night. And I think I'm probably going to list it quite high, to be honest. Because unless, unless I find otherwise, then it's going to be, it's rare in my mind. So there we go. Okay, um, I don't know what I'm doing for the rest of the day. It's only just coming up to one o'clock. Hmm. I'm sure I'll find something to do. Lunch today is some very nice and hot homemade uh, chili con carne with some uh, sour cream and a low carb wrap. I know that's not low carb because it's got kidney beans in it, but uh, what else? Look at this kidney stick. Well, me and the cat had a nap. Then I painted my nails. I done them like a little bit sharp, like claws. Wow. <laughs> Yay. Um, so that's it from me for today. Um, tomorrow, I'm not sure what we're doing. It's kind of weather dependent. But um, we shall see. We shall see. It might just be nothing. <laughs> Anyways, bye-bye now. Bye-bye.